Hello there. Um, on the continuation of how easy it is to make Ethicon adapters, uh, I need to make one now. Uh, I have this old box lying around from a different project. And I'm going to turn this into a two in, two out box, which is like a drop box on stage, which would be keyboard, vocal mic, and stereo in ears, wired in ears. Uh, I'm going to try to do this video just in real time to see, show you how quick and easy this can be. So. I've already drilled out the box because I had that from another project. I'm going to start by putting in all the plugs here. So these can go on either side. This looks a bit neater, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to put them on top. So I'm just doing this quick and easy as a temporary solution. There's a show tomorrow and uh, I'm not able to go there myself, so I'm just making this easier for the other band members to set up. So I'm just gonna start by putting all the connectors in. This is just a standard box from the electronics retailer store. I'm not able to push the screws all the way through because the, when I drilled the holes it was a bit crooked, so I'm just using the drill to get, get it in there. So that's all the plugs in. One good thing to do is always label on the back. So this is key, this would be vox, this would be I E M left, I E M. Yeah, I always like to label it on the back because when you're turning it for, like when you're turning it around, it will just make your life easier. So, then we just need to solder some cable onto this. So let's put this, in, this into channel one. This is my keyboard channel in this scenario. Well, that's one. I'll just make this. to be too long. Let's make four of these. This is actually not the easiest cable to work with, but it's something I had lying around. Right. Of 
I usually do the ground wire first, just because it's the one that tends to be the stiffest. You have to be careful when you're changing from the males to the female connector side that the pin one will be on the opposite side. I just did that mistake now. Alright, so that's and sold it up. So now I just need to find this. And I have my wiring pin out here. And This is channel one, I just need to strip all these cables, these ends. Alright, so channel one, that is orange. So the hot, the plus is orange and white. that is green so the plus is green and white make this a bit longer Channel 3, which is in ears left, that is the blue pair, and plus is blue. one this is channel four which is in here right that would be plus would be brown and white as I, as I've said before I'm using the the pinout whirlwind uses for their uh, catusa I'll put that on the screen uh, almost none of the manufacturers that make 
audio over cat cables seem to be using the same pinout. So this is the one we started using and I'm sticking to it. Alright, so now I've punched all these connectors in. I just need to gather all these shields. Like so. Twist them all together. And just put some solder on it, and then I will put it into the clamp and uh, solder the whole thing. So, clamp this around the all the shields, just make sure nothing is touching or it shouldn't. And then I just heat the whole thing up and put some solder on it so it will all stay together. Alright, that's it. Now just put this in the box. and then just close it up back to be like this get a screwdriver that actually fits this that's it Alright, so this is essentially how easy it is to make up audio to cat 5 breakout box. Oh. Well, it turns out this box can only only fits one way properly. There's a key here in the plastic so it only fits one way. Alright. Can live with that. The plan was to shoot this in real time, I might speed some things up so you don't have to just watch me struggle. Uh, but this is essentially an a audio over Cat5 box made in not too many minutes. I'm just gonna grab the tape. Uh, I don't have the breakout for the other side to actually measure this thing out properly now. I'm heading to a show where I will actually just see if it works.
So this is just a temporary labels for this. I'll print something nice later, but this is what we need for show tomorrow. And that's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm making more content similar to this. And if there are any questions, leave them in the comments. If, if there's anything you would like to see me go over, just put that in the comments as well. And I'll see you next time.